Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to compute the line integral f dot dr from the point 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 4. In this case, f is x squared i plus yj plus xz minus yk. And the contour in this case, contour c in this case is a curve given by x equal to t square, y equal to t, z equal to 4t cubed, joining the point origin to 1, 2, 4. And notice that the dot there represents a dot product of two vectors. To do this, first let's try to understand what is the contour first. The contour is a curve joining origin to 1, 2, 4. So you look at three-dimensional space, origin is a point 0, 0, 0. Alright, origin is a point 0, 0, 0. And the point 1, 2, 4 is another point x equal to 1, y equal to they go 4 and they are joined by a curve. The curve in this case is x equal to t square, y equal to 2t, z equal to 4t cubed. And this is the curve. Imagine that the curve is like this. And let's try to understand about the curve. In particular, we note that where at the point 0, 0, 0 origin, we find that t is equal to 0. We should easily check that we put t equal to 0, we get the point origin. At the point 1, 2, 4, you can check easily that it must be t equal to 1 because you put t equal to 1 inside or you solve the equation you get then t equal to 1, x equal to 1, y equal to 2, z equal to 4. Alright, so this is a little bit of the curve. Now we are ready to compute the line integral. First, you must find f dot dx first, f dot dr first. Now f x squared i, y j, where x z minus y k, and dr is dx i, dyj, and dz k. So f dot dr using a dot product, you get x squared dx plus y dy, but x z minus y dz. So the integral, the quantum integral, f dot dr become integral over the quantum, x squared dx plus y dy plus x z minus y dz. In this case, Let's use the integral now. We know that let's turn everything into t now. We know x equal to t square. Therefore, dx dt will be 2t. We know y equal to 2t. So dy dt is equal to 2. We know z equal to 4t cubed. So dz dt is 4 times 3t square. We get 12t square. After differentiate, if you remember this thing, differentiate t power n is n times t power n minus 1. Alright, so we are using this integration differentiation formula. So now let's substitute the, the value of x squared. Now x equal to t squared. So t, x squared will be t power 4 and dx equal to 2t dt. Alright, so because you actually have dx dt equal to 2t, so dx equal to 2t dt. Similarly, dy is equal to 2 dt, dz equal to 12t square dt. So now I have used x here is t square and dx is equal to 2t dt. Now I'm going to put in the y now. y is equal to 2t dy is equal to 2 dt. Alright, so I have used the y, put it in. So this is y equal to 2t, and dy is equal to 2t, 2 dt. Uh, 2 dt, yeah? And now, let's try to find out what is xz minus y. xz minus y, x equal to t squared, z equal to 4t cubed. Alright, and minus y, y is equal to 2t and dz is equal to 12t square dt so I'm using the fact that z equal to 4t cubed and dz is 12t square dt so put them together, let's simplify this first you have 2t power 5 dt plus 
t dt plus okay this is t power 5 times 4 times 12 is 48 t power 7 up to the power of t 7 and minus 24 2 times 12 is 24 t power 3 dt So let me rewrite them in terms of power of t here. This 48 t to the power 7 plus 2 t to the power 5 plus minus 24 t cubed. And plus 4 t dt. So we are integrating this expression and now let's find the limit, limit of t. Now we know that we are integration along the path. We do integration along the path from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1 because at the beginning, at the origin, t is equal to 0, at the end, t equal to 1. So this integration is going to be from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1. So you can put in the limit here t equal to 0 to 1, t equal to 0 to 1, and t equal to 0 to 1 here. And now, do the integration. So this is 48, integration of t7, dt from 0 to 1, plus 2, integration of t power 5, dt from 0 to 1, minus 24, integration of t cubed from 0 to 1, and plus 4, integration of t from 0 to 1. Now, using the, the integration rule t power n, dt is t power n plus 1 or n plus 1, we know. The integration of t power 7 is t power 8 over 8 now. So this is 48 times t power 8 over 8. And this is from 0 to 1. And then 2 times t power, integration of t power 5, t power 6 over 6, the integration from 0 to 1. And that's 24. Integration of t cubed is t power 4 over 4 for integration from 0 to 1. And integration of 4t, you get 4t squared over 2, integration from 0 to 1. Now you can simplify this first and see what you will get. You get 6t8, right? 48 over 8 is 6 here from 0 to 1. Plus, since they are going to integrate from 0 to 1 all the time, let me put 0 to 1 at the end. So, same thing here. 2 over 6 is 1 third, t6 here, and 24 over 4 is 6, and 4 over 2 is 2, so this is integrate from 0 to 1, so you put t equal to 1 inside, you get 6 plus 1 third minus 6 plus 2, when you put t equal to 1 inside, when you put t equal to 0, you get 0, plus 0, minus 0, plus 0, right? We put t equals 0. So in the end, answer is 2 and 1 third, which is 7 over 3. Okay, so this is the integral. Notice that this integral, the key point in this case, is you have to convert all the x, y, dx, dy, dz all in terms of t and you have to know the limit of t based on the point where it go from in this case t from 0 to t equal to 1 okay so then you use just the eventually end up just on a normal integration okay so this is the end of recording